Hey guys, just wanted to pop on and uh, say thank you for all of the, the comments and uh, um, I've, I've read every single one of them. I just didn't have the emotional fortitude to uh, just sit there and respond to them. Um, but, and this probably sounds terrible, but I can say I have been more heartbroken over losing that dog than any person that I have lost in my life so far. So it's been pretty rough. This last week was uh, just kinda crazy. I didn't really get anything noteworthy accomplished. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you and um, got a sympathy card from some subscribers, uh, Sally, Thank you for that, that was sweet. And the vets, they sent me one too. Um, so I just feel like I can finally talk about it now without completely breaking down. Um, so Mother's Day, the day we went fiddleheading, that was, I've had, I've, I read a couple uh, comments where people were saying, you know, oh wow, she jumped in the boat herself and she's looking so good. And that was the best day she'd actually had in a while. And uh, <clears throat> she actually surprised both of us jumping in the boat on her own because at the landing when we were all getting in the boat to head out there, Joe had to pick her up and put her in there. <laughs> but I guess she was feeling good after her swim. So it just got to the point that she just had a lot of fluid build up and it was making it difficult for her to just be comfortable laying down or um, you know just to breathe even and the Thursday before Mother's Day I went to the mailbox to get the mail and she always comes along well Mildred and I had to stop and wait for her several times because she just she couldn't keep up and um, it, it was just gonna get worse, you know, and I mean she wasn't Super terrible, but she was going downhill and I didn't want it to get to the point where it was You know totally awful for her because that's just not fair to her but I mean she really wasn't doing much at the house she would just kind of lay around and she just wasn't she started to lose her appetite some and it, it just was only gonna get worse so that's uh, not a uh, you know not an easy decision to make obviously and even though she was able to jump into the boat that day um, the next morning when Joe left for work she wanted to get in bed with me and she couldn't even get up on the bed so so it was time and like I said it's been kind of rough but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all your sweet messages and um, she'll definitely be missed a lot. So I, I was going to plan on doing some sort of a solo trip this past weekend but well not this today's Monday not this past weekend but last weekend but um, obviously that did not happen so um, even though I am filming this today I'm also you know I'll put this up but I'm also gonna be doing some other filming today getting uh, some things planted and Normally I have my garden all completely sketched out by now as to what I'm going to put where. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been a little disorganized lately. So we will get that all straightened out. And I will do some filming on that and get that out for you guys too. So and then I got some other, other videos planned and some things coming up. So see if we can't get back at her and keep things rolling along. It's a little balmy today. 
I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Slightly chilly, but enough of a breeze that the uh, black flies aren't too bad yet. So, good time to get out there and get some stuff planted without getting eaten alive. Wanna say hi to everybody, Liam? Hi! <laughs> You can really run fast in those new shoes, can't you? Yeah. And they even light up. See, just a little bit of it glowing. Yeah, it's hard to see in the light, but. Yeah, it does they glow. They do light up. That's cool. Nice. All right, why don't you tell everybody, catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.